Hi there, Aries. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your October 2017 love reading. I have pre shuffled these decks for you. Actually, this is a general reading. So, this is for Aries, October 2017. This is a general reading. Whatever comes out will come out. I was saying I have pre shuffled these decks for you, but I'm going to shuffle them for a little bit longer. This may or may not resonate, as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I have to tell you, from the get-go, I think that there's a flame that is, is going out, okay? There's a flame that's going out, and I'm not sure what that's about, but we will find out. Alright, the basis of your reading right there is the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is some kind of lies. That's the basing, basis of <clears throat> this month. Lies, deceit, trickery, thieving. I mean, it could be any. It could be cheating as well. So the basis of your reading is the Seven of Swords. That means that you may be feeling this way. You may be feeling deceived. You could be even deceiving yourself, okay? So I see you moving forward. I see where the chariot is right above it. That's you moving forward. No longer going to sit still. Going to move in the direction of your heart's desire. Okay, I see you moving forward. I think it's going to take strength and confidence. And I think that, that you're starting to build up that strength and confidence. I see a major new beginning for you. Um, it may have already happened or it may be taking place right now. But... I see you putting yourself in the driver's seat and going ahead, moving forward. You know, um, we have right next to it the shadow side, which is the um, devil card, which is also the a karma card. Um, so, this is. Um, It's actually a karma card, but it's, it is the judgment card. It's not the devil card. Did I say devil card? I think I did. My apologies. I knew it too. I knew it was the judgment card. Either way, the judgment card is about abs absolution. Um, it's about absolution, and it's a, there's an awakening. There's a major breakthrough, which, which helps you with this um, new phase of your life. You're about to have a breakthrough with these two cards. This is the karma card. Um, but the devil card is too, and I saw the karma, so that's my my fault. And I do these cards all the time, so there must be some. The devil must play a part because I wanted to say that. So let's not. Let's, we're gonna we're gonna fit that right into this because I'm sure that it plays a part. There's some kind of obsession. There could be some materialism here. Um, there's definitely karma here. I think that you have bigger desires bigger hopes wishes and desires than where you're at right now and you're about to to do something there's going to be a breakthrough regarding um these desires that you have okay and i think you might i mean for some of you you could be moving moving on because i see like i said i see that there's a flame that is going to go out or is about to go out i think that you are thinking about somebody else you know, I do. And, that's, and I think you're deceiving yourself by not moving in the direction of your heart's desire. I see that you have a big heart's desire here. And the breakthrough is that you are finally going to move towards it in October. It looks like at the beginning of the month, you're feeling very... I mean, there's challenges. There's um, 
trials. It looks like it's 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 rough at the beginning of October. Um, there may be some conflicts. Just with the Page of Swords, this is uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I think there's a lot of conflicting thoughts. Okay, there could be some spitefulness um, the, at the very beginning of the month, and I think that you need a you need some time to heal. Okay, because here we have this Four of Swords. You need some time to go within and reevaluate. And you don't need much time because I think that whenever something comes out, some kind of communication could come out that is pretty spiteful. And you might be like, okay, all right, I need to, I really need to figure this out. And you might go within for a short time and then all of a sudden decide, you know what? I'm finally going to do this. I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm going to move forward. I'm ready for my new chapter. Okay, you've been dreaming about your new chapter. You have. You've been waiting to do it, and I think that maybe in October you might actually put yourself in the driver's seat and move forward, and you're going to pull out that strength and confidence, and your inner beauty is going to start shining again. I see you being very victorious and successful and, and being very respected for who you are. So don't don't worry about any of that. This is public recognition, so you could be being recognized for your... Um, strength okay for your strength um this right here the page of cups is 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 i think that you have an interest in a new love okay and this can be a new art a new partner a new job uh something that you are passionate about you have a new passion okay and i think that you are about to go in that direction because you know that you're only deceiving yourself by not doing it. So I see you moving forward this month. I do. And I think that one karmic cycle is over. This is the karma and this is the world. This is the judgment card as well. One karmic cycle is over. Okay? And it's time to start on a new one. I see that um, You've reached a finish line. It's time for something new. Like I said, one flame is going out. That's all there is to it. Um, you've persevered. You have uh, resist. You have uh, been very resilient. Um, you've worked on yourself, and I think that yeah. I mean, a lot of you could be moving. Okay, you could. You're either moving on. You know, from whatever this is that's holding you back, or you're moving physically. You could be moving to a whole new spot, okay? To follow your life's um, mission, okay? Because I see that you have a you have a passion that you want to head towards, and you're only deceiving yourself by not doing it. You could be um, reminiscing about somebody from the past. Somebody from the past could be around you. We have the judgment card. The judgment card also states that somebody from the past is try is around. You know, somebody that has passed on is around, and they're trying to give you a message. They're trying to talk to you. You know, they're trying. Are you listening? Are you paying attention? Okay, it can mean someone from the past is trying to get through to you when you get the judgment card. It can mean that. Okay, and this is reminiscing about somebody from the past, and it is connected. So if you pay attention to the signs, okay? You have been very resilient. You have been very resilient and just putting up with a lot. You have the Six of Wands again. Please do not worry about what the neighbors think or your brother or your mother or your father or whoever. This is about you. This is, you will be recognized in a positive way, okay? Just want to let you know if that's a worry of yours. You will, this is a positive move for you. The Wheel of Fortune right above this, this is very positive, um... The Wheel of Fortune is good luck is on the horizon. There really isn't no failure in this. There will not be a failure. You know what's coming to mind when I talk about this passion. Whatever this passion is that you want to go for, there is no failure. It's beautiful. It's, it's meant to be. This is destiny. Okay? So if whatever's coming to mind, I would say that you should move forward with it. You have been having putting your guard up and resisting it and just knowing you just haven't took the leap yet. I mean, this is the Seven of Wands. This kid or whatever it is is sitting on a dragon that can fly. There's a bunch of people wanting to fight with him down below. He can fly away, but he's not. 
because he just wants to fight for some reason or, you know, likes this drama. So this is what that is. Nine of Wands. This is persistence. This is resilience. This is life lessons. Okay? This is all the, the things that you have learned over time. All right? They have cultivated that strength within you they have cultivated the strength the wisdom the grace the love the beauty within you you've earned it it is time for you to spin the wheel it is um these five this five of wands this is this petty petty pettiness that's holding you back these little little things that are holding you back they're just nonsense okay it's nonsense um ten of pentacles you're moving so some of you, and if you're not moving, your home could be changing. Somebody could be moving in, somebody could be moving out, or you could physically be moving, okay? Something to do with your home, okay? Because we have you, the chariot is moving, the six of swords is moving, and this one is could be moving. A lot of you are moving on, and, and if you're not moving home physically, you're moving on spiritually, okay? A lot of you are moving. You're moving on to another spot either spiritually or physically okay that's what I see and we're gonna get one more deck and then we're gonna get one of the whispers of love this is for October I see a victory I see success a lot of it a lot of success here don't deceive yourself okay You could have a new relationship right around the corner if you, you know, are single or if you're looking for a new relationship. The lovers, son of a gun. What was I just saying? You could have a new love right around the corner. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. So, you know, like I, like I said right here, there's some it's reminiscing about the past. There could be somebody, somebody from the past that is interested in you right now and they're thinking about you and you don't even know it yet, okay? Or you could be thinking about somebody from the past, like I said, somebody from the other side. I don't know. But the lover's card comes up when there is an unexpected choice in love, okay? And this is unexpected. You don't, it's very unexpected. Could have already happened. Uh, may not have, could be coming up, but this is an unexpected choice in love. This is also a Gemini. We have Gemini, we have um, the water signs, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Leo, we have the air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Aquarius again. Um, I'm just going to look under here real quick. We have Cancer. Just letting you know who the signs are. With a wheel of fortune, right over the wheel of fortune. You're traveling. <laughs> you are traveling. You're either traveling to a new home. You're traveling to a new country. You're traveling, period. There's definitely a lot of travel here. So there's the, there's spiritual traveling. There's, there's uh, uh, moving. Definitely, there's a lot of moving here. So you're either moving on spiritually to a, to a new dimension or you are... Uh, moving to a new home completely or your home is changing either way it is beautiful you have the wheel of fortune twice this wheel of fortune comes up when there's a change of course and whatever it is whatever has happened brought is bringing you that much closer to your life's purpose okay it's a lucky break with the wheel of fortune you have it twice good luck is here for you new chapter Okay, Wheel of Fortune is also destiny. You have it twice. This is all destiny. Follow your passion. Judgment, again. Like I said earlier, the judgment card can also stand for somebody from the other side is trying to come through. So just pay attention. If you have somebody on the other side and you've been getting little signs and you've been wondering, the chances are that they are, they're here. Okay, so just pay attention to that. This is absolution. It's a breakthrough. It's a wake-up call. 
It's also help from the other side. Like I was saying, you have it twice. It's a karma card. One karmic period of your life is over, and it's time to start another one. You have two wheels in two worlds. Major new beginnings. Now, you have had this coming for a while, Aries. You have. So if it hasn't happened already, it is damn close. Damn, 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 damn close. And excuse my language, but that's the way it is. And it's and you've, you've been really working on it. You've been thinking about it. You've been making these plans for a while. You've been getting everything in order. I think, like I said, it's right around the corner when this flame is going to go out. And you know what it is. Five of Swords. Tension. Disagreements. You can't do it anymore. That's the breakthrough. You can't. This is the this is tension and it's right over this five of wands. You never know what to expect. Okay? Conflicts. There's too many conflicts right now. There's not enough interest. All there is is tension and drama where you're stuck at right now and you're ready to be done with it. You're ready for the new beginning. You're ready. You're ready. You've made the plans. The tower, whoo, of course. The tower comes out when you aren't really, I mean, you've made the plans, you've done the paperwork in your head, or what, or maybe you've even really done the paperwork, you know? You, you've made the plans, you have this passion, you know what you want, you're ready to go, you're done with it, you know, you're, you're ready to move on, but you just haven't made the move. That's when the tower comes out. The tower comes out to say, all right, somebody needs a kick in the ass. So they kick you in the ass and it hurts, but it's a blessing in disguise. So when the tower comes out, it's unexpected. You don't know what this is. You don't know when they're going to kick you in the ass. You don't know how they're going to kick you in the ass, but it is going to come in October. Okay. And that's what's going to happen. The universe is going to help you out, and it might hurt, but it's going to be a blessing in disguise. You're moving. You're moving on. You're moving on to either a new spiritual journey, a new spiritual dimension, or you're moving physically, or your home is changing. Somebody's moving in, or somebody's moving out. A flame is about to go out. And I said that because I kept trying to light my incense, and the flame just kept going out going out. Earlier I did a reading and I lit my incense and I forgot to blow it out and that sucker <laughs> it was gone lickety split. Pshoo! So that reading was on fire. You know, the fast moving energy. Yours would not stay lit. And the flame just kept going out. And I felt the need to tell you that. There is, a, like I, I tell a lot of my private readings, the minute I hit record, the reading is for you whatever comes out of my mouth, so be it about anything, my family, anything, it is meant for you in some way. Miracles and blessings. Interesting. I will zoom that in for you. This is the month of October. And for some reason, I chose to do Aries first. 13. I always do Taurus first, but for some reason, Aries was like, no, we can do Aries first. Weird. Miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. You drew this card because you have many miracles happening in your life right now. The angels are asking you to look at how things are. Look again. You will find that your life has been filled with many miracles and blessings. <laughs> You're going to get a blessing in disguise this month. Um, if you don't want, I mean, if you don't want to be kicked in the ass, then you just, you know, you're moving forward. That's all there is to it. There's, all, there's, there's things are moving, moving for sure. So, um, 
if you, you're going to get the kick in the ass either way. So, I mean, if you don't want the kick in the ass, then I suggest you move a little faster. But I, I don't know. I, that it looks like you're going to get it to me. All right. I will talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed the reading.